I'm going to answer a question today about whether or not you can refill the reservoir for you if you're growing hydroponics using the Cracky method. Now, first of all, people for people that don't know, the Cracky method, and you probably don't have this question if you're not growing with the Cracky method, but if you're growing with the Cracky method, you what you do is you take a reservoir of water, you put your plant in it, the reservoir of water is sufficient to feed the plant for its entire life cycle, so you use a quick growing plant, a fast maturing plant like lettuce, or something and at the end of the maturity cycle you harvest it and it has used up all the water and all the nutrients and you start over and you cascade them if you want a continuous supply and uh, that's, the, that's the principle, that's the theory. It works great, I've done it. I usually have three or four boxes going, I'm sorry, two or three boxes going at once. Every couple weeks I start some new seeds. Right now I just have one box going but sometimes you want to refill them. So why might you want to refill your reservoir? Well, in my case, I forgot to change the nutrients, uh, or forgot to increase the nutrients after it was a seedling. So they were kind of stunted. So it had used up most of the water and not really produced anything. So I thought, well, let's refill it and see what happens. So I've tried it, and I can say that it does indeed work. Uh, another reason why you might want to do it, if you're growing a longer growing vegetable, cracky style, like basil or tomatoes, or something that just takes longer to mature than 30 days, you might need to refill your reservoir. Um, the pros are you can keep growing, you can continue growing stuff. The cons are that, uh, I don't know if you, if you're growing something like lettuce, you probably won't get as much bang for your buck out of it as you would if you were to have just started a new head of lettuce in a separate box and let that grow to maturity. Because the, I mean, if there's, there's diminishing returns. Um, cutting a head of lettuce off and there's di like diminishing returns. Second, let me show you the roots here. So this is the one... This is the one that I've refilled. Um, the first set, 30 days, it grew like these little stubby leaves down here. And the last week and a half or two weeks, it's just grown this massive top section since I refilled it with the proper nutrients. Now, if you look down here, you can see these roots are almost like filling the box. They filled the box almost completely full. And that's great, except for that it sucks off the water like nobody's business. So one drawback to refilling it when you've got a plant this mature is that it just keeps using water and you've just got to keep refilling it over and over more than you would otherwise do if you, it's higher maintenance. It's just not like the, what the method's planned for, or not what the, you usually do with the cracking method. But, um, like I said, you can do it. I've done it. Let me show you, what you how you do it though. Look in here at these roots and they're starting to look a little brown so I might have some root rot starting here. See those top roots at the top? The little wispy ones, like right, right there. These are the roots that are gathering oxygen. These roots need to stay out of the water. If you refill it, you can only fill it part way. You can't fill it as full as you otherwise would have filled it, you know, when you first started the, the grow. So when you fill it up, you just fill it part way. Mix your nutrients um, such that they're, you know, appropriately mixed for whatever you're trying to do, flower, bloom, um, aggressive vegetative, whatever you need. And just fill it back up. I've got a mark. I've got a window on my on my box here. You can see the roots in there. This line right here, this is full. This is what I do when I start the plant. When I refill it, I only fill it to about here. And in about a week, it's used about that much water. So I've got another week or so of water in here, maybe longer. So, I mean, it's doing good. I should probably cut some of this, let some new leaves grow out, make some room for some new growth. Oops, broke that one. And anyway, so I want to answer the question. Bottom line is you can. Question you if you should, that's another question. That's up to you. So good luck and uh, let me know if it works for you, what you're growing in your cracky style, uh, cracky hydroponics. Man, that's hard to say. All right, thanks for watching.